Hey guys, today we're going to cover how to find the 20 human locations in Darksiders 3. Guys, welcome to Games Grid Network and when you play the game, you eventually get to the maker and this guy is going to give you a bridge stone. This will let you save humans in the game and rescuing a set of five humans. You can go back to the maker and this guy will give you a passive bonus, which are pretty neat, so you definitely want to get those passive bonuses. I'm going to show you all the 20 human locations within the game. The first one is going to be in the Haven Crossroads and it is basically not missable, so it is kind of in the way of the game that they are introducing how you can rescue the humans but so you want to just walk up here and drop down here so you get to the cutscene for the human and guys I ordered these human locations in lines with the story so you don't have to backtrack finding these guys now. do you want to live <laughs> what? what if you want to live I can send you to a safe place any, I suppose. Touch it. Idiots. It's a miracle they ruled the earth for as long as they did. The second one is in the splintered station in the nether. And, and you have to just go to the right here. You. And again, go to the right into this little hole right here. And then you have to take the path down here to the right. And then you have to just go prone and into this little tunnel right here. And at the end, there is going to be the human. Third one is going to be in Haven in the north end and this is when after you get the flame hollow so you will be able to get here so you want to just follow this road to the end and drop down the broken hole in the ground. So drop down here and go to this little tunnel and then the human is going to be located on the right in the corner right there. The fourth is also going to be in the Haven North End, but now you have to just use a bug to destroy the purple rocks you can see on the right there. So just follow this road and go to the left where this hole is in the building right there. And there is going to be the bug what is eating the purple stuff so he will let the uh, rocks explode basically. Like that and behind it is going to be the human. The fifth one is going to be in the Haven Maker's Forge and you have to just going to walk a little far right here for this one. So you want to just go up here and follow these little bridges right here and then go to the right. You need to flame all for this because there's going to be some webs down here so you want to just burn them. And then you can go to the left and use your whip to swing across. There are going to be some stupid enemies right here, so you want to definitely be careful and take them down first. So you want to just jump up here to the top of this building right here and you will eventually get to the end and that is where the human is located. So the 6th is in the 
Saturn Nether location. So this is going to be a really short one. You just have to walk up here by the stairs and the guy is already there. Pretty short. And the next one is going to be in the Tangled Grotto in the Nether. And you just have to go right here and go to the left. And you want to go up this uh, train right here to the little tunnel and then just crawl through it and you eventually get to the human. Number eight, what is going to be in the Haven Maker's Forge, and this is when you have the Storm Hollow, and you want to just go back here and swing across here, and then now you have access to the building right there because you can use the Storm Hollow now to glide to it. So you want to use these whirlwinds to get across. And the human is right there at the end. Number nine, what is in the Bonelands and the Festering Pool. There's also going to be a long walk, so just follow this path. And get to the friendly monster right there, so you can jump to the platform. And go in this building right here. And there's again going to be the friendly monster, so you can jump up to this hole in the in the ceiling right there. And then just follow the path to the right and drop down. And behind these uh, containers, there's going to be the human. Number 10, what is also in the Bonelands, but in the down around, in the Drowned District. So just swim over here. I already opened up the little shortcut here. So now you want to swing across here and there's going to be an entrance to the right. What you first have to destroy the web with flaming your uh, salvation. And then you need to just like get the angle on it so you can safely just swing to it. And there is going to be the human. For number 11, what is in the bone land and the mangled freeway and this one is really hard to miss other than if you have your volume off so you can't hear him 
or you're deaf or something, but no offense if you're deaf, of course, but you know, you probably won't hear me saying this because you know, you're deaf, but whatever, no offense. For number 12, what is in the Haven Crossroads? And this is after you get the Force Hollow because you now have the ability to break the purple uh, rocks. So you just want to go up here. And there's going to be an entrance what is blocked by the purple rocks, but I already destroyed it. So that is this entrance right here. So you have to just smash the uh, purple rocks. Um, behind this is going to be the human. For number 13 is in the Tangled Grotto in the Nether and you also have to use the uh, Force Hollow to break the purple rocks here and you can, you can get to this area earlier in the game if you get killed by the mini spider boss so the thing just carries you to this point but that's just a 50-50 chance if you didn't die or did die so that's why I'm just going to show you when I have the Force Hollow. So you just want to jump up here and go in this little tunnel right here. So follow the path here on the right. Again, drop down here and again, go to the right. Keep following this path and you will eventually get to the human. So jump up here and there is the human. So there are going to be actually two humans in this location. So I'm not going to cut it away. I'm just going to move further. So just when you got that one, just walk up here and drop down here. And now drop, drop in this little hole. And just follow this path. And then in front of you is going to be the human. So for number 15, what is in the Boneland cargo ship? And you have to complete a little puzzle right here, but I already defeated the enemies right there. I'm going to show you a little how the puzzle is done. So you need to go here and then uh, use your storm hollow to get across. So I'm going to kill these uh, little bugs right here because it's going to be annoying once I like drop the friendly monster here. So I'm just going to take them down. So follow this path to the left. And go to the right. And you want to jump on this purple rock. You have to move with the first hollow. And then you have to hit the uh, friendly monster down. So do that and just drop down. And then swing it to the right. And once he's there, you want to jump up and, and the human is going to be on the right. And on the left is going to be the uh, chosen one for the essence of the chosen one, if you are interested in those. So for number 16, what is located in the eroded pipeline in the depths. So you want to just go back here and jump on this platform and be sure not to fail like 
ID right here. And jump here to the right. And just jump over this little wall. And then you will find the human. And for number 17, and it is after you've beaten Gluttony and get the Stasis Hollow, you can now just jump up these walls right here. Um, behind this box is going to be the human. Number 18, what is located in these sunken tracks. Jump up here using the stasis hollow and be sure to uh, activate your force hollow because you will need it to get across here. And the purple rocks are going to be smashed right here and after there is the human. Number 18, what is in the scar drilling an X. And you're just going to follow this path right here and be sure to uh, knock this platform with the force hollow so you can jump over it with using the stasis hollow. So you want to just jump up here as well. And behind this little wall right here is going to be the human. So for number 20, uh, what is also in the drilling annex and scar, but this is after you stopped the drill next to it, so you can jump up here, so you want to do that. And just swing across. So follow this path right here. It's going to be a long walk right here. So it is actually the shortcut while I'm entering right now, so be sure to have that one open if you haven't gotten here yet. And jump up here and use the stasis hollow to get up these rocks. And then use the platforms right here to get across. Now you want to just jump off right here and activate your stasis hollow and let let it connect with your salvation so you can freeze the grinder so you can drop down here and in the far end there is going to be the uh, last human. So guys, those were all the 20 human locations and be sure to go to uh, the maker to get these passive bonuses. But guys, that runs up the video and I thank you for watching. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want more gaming videos like this one, then you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. But guys, I wish you success with finding these guys and also wish you an awesome day.